you so much for joining me here on my channel. It is Friday morning, 5.20 in the morning, and I am up and ready to go. I got paid yesterday, so I do need to do a budget with me so that I can pull some cash out of the bank and do some cash stuffing. And I have been working like non-stop. I've just been going crazy, you guys. I am pulling another really hard week. Last week, I did 51 hours. $806. I was hoping it would be a little bit bigger than that. You never know with gig work. I am a gig worker. How much effort you put in doesn't necessarily equal how much compensation you get. I could do 30 hours and get $800. I could do 50 hours and get $800. Um, you know, it just kind of ebbs and flows. This was a slower week and I could feel it happening in the beginning of the week. That's why I just buckled down and just went full board because I did the vacation and I needed it to work extra anyway. I believe I'm going to do another 50 hour week this week, but it is only Friday morning. So I still have Friday, Saturday and Sunday to do. Oh my goodness, you guys, I need to get moving so that I can get back out there. This week is going a little bit better, or at least it feels like it. I don't really know my numbers until everything situates because I do work a couple of different gig surfaces. And depending on how many I work in the week, depending on how many bump ups or bonuses you get, prop 22s or the different amounts all regulate themselves by Thursday. So I call Thursday my payday and it is Friday morning. $806 is what I have to put on here, but I did have some stuff that I needed to work out before I start my month over because this is October week one. What I was doing September, yeah, here. I forgot to put my month ahead and my emergency fund numbers on these papers and then I didn't finish up with the how much I earned each week in my little book here. To do that, let me pull this out here a pen and my month ahead was left at 2,122 at the end of September. The emergency fund, 261. All right, and then I need to go into, see here, not October, let's go back to September. And right across the bottom here, I want to write how much I earned. See how like July and August, I've got the different weeks, how much I earned here. I didn't do that this time. So I need to do that. Let me get those out. Excuse me. And let's see, let me put this in order here. There we go. So we got week one. I made let's see, week number one was 776 all right i'm just going to switch colors just for fun week number two was 721 all right if i should start writing my hours on here that would probably be helpful for me in the future to find out how much i work and how much i earn Right now I'm just, how much I earn is all I'm really concerned with. Oh, I'm not switching colors, let me switch colors. Blue. Week number three had 847. Like it'd be interesting to see 847. How much did I work to earn that? And number four was 593. And see, I feel like that was only like 20 something hours and it was almost $600. It's, you really never can tell. It's not like I can hack it and work it out and crack the code and earn all the money, but it is interesting to know how much effort I put in and how much I'm compensated. Now that'll be easier to figure out how much I made in September. Those should have been in my reconciling video, but I just didn't remember to do that. Okay. All right. Oh, this pencil should be in here. 51 hours and that was 806. Right. If I had $806, one thing I do need to check, I think it is a five paycheck month. Is it really? I kind of feel like it is. 
one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that is awesome. It is also my birthday month. It is Halloween month. It's the kickoff to the holiday season. I am getting excited and $806 is a great way to start it out. So let's see, five paycheck month means, let me grab out my budget here, that I, instead of owing $400 each week, owe 320. Awesome. Okay, so minus 320 equals $486. Can you move this out of the way? I don't have to earn as much in a five paycheck month but I want to because I want to build up money. So if it kind of gives me this like, oh, I don't have to work as hard, but I'm, I'm going for it, you guys. I know I'm getting burned out. I'm already ready for a day off and I can't take one yet. And my next day off is, I'm scheduling my next day off for Tuesday, but we'll just see how it works and we will move on from here. Let's see, $320 goes here which means I have a remaining balance of $486. And that is what I get to budget with. So we're gonna do the budget with me. I'm gonna pull out that budget again. Why did I put it away? I don't know. I am so crazy like that. Move that out of the way. And see here, I want to, and I just cleared that. I'm, I'm not thinking I need to get moving in the right direction this morning and I am just kind of flustered. You know what? It's probably because I haven't had any coffee yet. I need to get into this coffee update. This is a triple chocolate. Great value. And this is such a good coffee. It actually is only available like nine months out of the year. And I think it's already disappeared from the stores or you might be able to find the last few boxes. But once they come out with their holiday coffees, like their pumpkin spice and their um, peppermint bark and everything this goes away for a little bit but then in like February it comes back it is available for about eight-ish months out of the year and I love this coffee so I stock up on it and I am gonna get a sip of that so I can get my head straight and get these things going all right give us a sip of that and I'll be right back with you mm, this is such a good coffee if you guys can find it I suggest you grab a box or two while you can still get your hands on it and it is also really reasonable I think it's like 30 cents a pot let's get into this we need groceries and for groceries i like to do i do have the one fourth one fifth amounts broken down for my bills but you can't really one fifth groceries when it's a normal week it's not like it's a shorter week it is an extra paycheck week but you don't eat less because of that so i did break down those numbers but i don't use those numbers i use these numbers i don't know why i did it and i just I guess because I was learning and I thought that I would need one fifth numbers. And then once I actually did that, it wasn't even enough money for food or gas. I figured it out along the way that you cannot one fifth that just because you get five paychecks. At least I can't. Um, let's see here. I want 140 ish in gas, but I do need to check and see how much I have left over before I do that. And to see how much I have left over, I need to see if I have any outstanding. So I'm gonna go here real quick, cause I do see cash here. What do I have? $54, but I know I owe some of that. So I can't rely on that. Let's see what I owe. And see, this is why you have to do a budget with me or I do, I need to reconcile things still, even though I've reconciled the month, I have things that have happened since the new month has started. Now food I already paid for, but gas I owe. So I owe $40 right now. $40. That's easy. So that means there is still $14 in gas that I could roll over. And that's what I need to account for in that 140 I was just gonna budget. We're gonna do 40 in here. And that is the first charge of the month on the credit card. And that is how I track anything that I charge on the credit card. Then I pay it back in cash. And that way at the end of the month, I have everything to pay back my credit card and I don't even have to worry about it. Now, one thing that I also didn't do at the end of the month was buffer. I had $30 left over in buffer and I shouldn't leave that. I should be able to break that somewhere. And one of the ideas I had was I have three categories behind. I have $30 left. I think I'm just gonna expand it over as long as it's three tens. Is it three tens? It is. So I'm just gonna move it back a 
because I don't think any of those categories have gotten love in quite some time. This is completely full, so I'm going to get rid of that. Get me a new tracker for buffer. All right, it starts out at zero, so I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm going to put a new one in there so that that's ready for next time. And then taxes is going to grow by 10. It looks like it has 30, so now it's going to have 40. Put a 10 in there. And that buffer I build up each week just in case I spend something on my credit card that I forgot about and didn't have enough money to cover. So when I paid off my credit card, it ends up being extra. $11 in here, so we're gonna move that to 21. And health, I actually have state health insurance and most almost everything is covered. So basically health I use to upgrade my son's glasses because they don't cover the best glasses, they cover like the cheapest. Um, so I do upgrade his glasses each year and we just did that. Well, we didn't even have to pay. He had um, insurance on his glasses. So this year he has brand new glasses and we didn't even have to pay for them. So we are probably about a year away from needing glasses. I just need to build that up. But, you know, it's nice to have that built up early, just in case. And education, I had 10 in there, and I am going to grow it to 20, which most of our education is covered by our charter school. But, you know, there is incidentals, so I like to have that, just in case. And now, I know what I have in my budget. I have $14 already in gas. That was a long-winded way to figure it out, but I do get to color this now. And this is blue. And these colors, I'm not just pulling them out of the air. I mean, I am just pulling them out of the air, but I did it a long time ago. So one of the things that I need to do is write my legend here. Another thing I didn't do from my reconciling. I sure didn't do everything on reconciling day. I don't think I ever do, but this is kind of just works it out. And I just need to go, let's see, gas, food, pets, shopping, Household, miscellaneous, and education. All right, and then I need to color those so that I can remember what colors I have those and it makes it easier so that when I reconcile, everything is already all worked out. All right, so let me get these colors out here. green gas is blue pets is yellow and these things I just made these up a long time ago I didn't really assign them colors for any certain reason it's just what they ended up with and I do need to check every time just to make sure shopping is orange so that I keep them the same just for continuity reasons just so it helps me but you can pick any color you want you can do it any way you want if this works for you that's great if you have more categories you might need more colors i ended up buying this pack of colors and i didn't need the red for the longest time and then i just finally came up with a reason for the red but i wish i had like twice these colors because sometimes i feel like i should add in a lot more of these categories and actually break down where i spend my miscellaneous and instead of having just this giant purple category there could be a gifts category there could be a bmx category it looks like there could be a birthday category a vacation category you know there could be these other colors but there isn't that many colors of highlighters this is what i'm doing for now and this is what works i don't actually need that much information when i do my reconciling i mean i always can break it down more but this makes it so the quick and easy breakdown of the main categories is much easier to do all right now i can finally get into this after all that we can take a peek at the wallet and see how much money is left in here and that way we can figure out what we want in each category for real groceries has eleven dollars Pet supplies has 27. Oh, that's really good. Shopping seven. 
household one. That's not so good. Entertainment five. Miscellaneous twelve. What did I miss? Restaurants? Yep, restaurants, nothing. Miscellaneous twelve. Gifts and giving has oh five plus a two dollar tip. I forgot all about that two dollar tip. Let me set that off to the side. And that is what my wallet looks like right now. So my tips all go in my cash stepping box. So I'm gonna add that right here right now. We're just gonna throw that off to the side. And then when this gets full enough, when it feels full to me, then I do some cash stepping. But it's looking empty still. So now we can finally move back into the $486 that we are going to budget and work out what we want to do. Let me grab a pin here for groceries. It looks like we normally want 160 something dollars and we had some little bit like 11 bucks already or something. So what, 150? Okay, 150 in groceries minus 150. We still have $336. Pets, I want to give pets $10 and that's probably a good amount. Shopping, I want to give eight. I don't like that eight. So how about, you know what? Shopping and household were really empty. And I actually have some money. Plus I did not minus that 10. So there we go. Minus 10. I'm going to give each of these categories 20 this time. 20, 20. Entertainment had five, and we do use entertainment basically weekly. If we go to BMX, we just haven't gone in the last two weeks because I've just been on vacation and then working. But, oh, what do I want to put in entertainment? I think it can have a 22. 20? All right. That is looking really good still. $266. Restaurants had nothing. How about if we give it a 20? Looks like we're going to do a lot of 20s this time. Miscellaneous. Hmm. I am kind of liking having miscellaneous money and I don't have any right now. Plus that looks good. Miscellaneous is going to get 50. All right. $196 left. We still had $5 in giving. I think I'm going to have $5 more. $191 and we are too gasoline. Now for gas, I want to have like $140. I only have what? I think it was 15. There was something in there. I think it was like $12, $15. Hmm. Okay. How about 135? Okay. 135. Leaves $56. Now that buffer I was telling you about earlier, I do like to grow that each week just in case I spend something on the credit card that I can't handle. So 20, 20. Oh, one thing I have noticed, maintenance and emergency fund is disappearing here because when I make my copies, it just disappears and then I forget about it and then I don't fund it. Let me add it back on here. Maintenance and emergency. And I'm going to give them each 10. And that just stays in the bank, but I still have to subtract it from here so I know how much I have left over. I just, each one of those categories each got something just a moment ago. And $16 left for dollar savings challenges? I think so. There we go. We got $16 left to play savings challenges and that is going to grow that box up pretty quickly since there's already a couple of dollars in there. And it also puts us at a $0 budget. That is awesome. Now we're just going to have to figure out what we want to go grab from the bank. Let me do that. Okay, let's see here for groceries. Oh, let me first let me put the legend here. here for groceries I want $150 I do not mind large bills for groceries at all they break up perfectly fine so let's see 100 and 150 for pets we're gonna get a 10 
for household, a 20. Oh, shopping's getting a 22. I'm passing them right up. Entertainment, a 20. And restaurants, a 20. Miscellaneous gets a 50. And gifts and giving gets a 5. Gasoline, 135. I do not want large bills in gas because I want to be able to break it up. Let's see here. I want... Oh, I guess I want six 20s. I want six 20s, a 10, and a 5. All right, and then what I want to get. These $10 bills stay in the bank, so I don't pull them out. But let's see here. This $16 I will pull out. And I'm thinking I want it in ones. Do I want one five? I think I do one five and 11 ones. One, two, three, four, five, and one, one. All right, 11 ones. That looks good. Now let me work that out, see if we've got it right. Let's see here. If I had one $100 bill, I'd have $100. If I had two $50 bills, I'd have $100. If I had 10 $20 bills, I'd have $200. If I had 20, if I had two $10 bills, I'd have $20. If I had three $5 bills, I'd have $15. And if I had 11 $1 bills, I'd have $11, which adds up to $446. Now, is it supposed to? 56, 66. Am I missing a 20? I'm going to have to re-add because this is not right. There is 20 that I don't pull out of the bank, so this should be $466. Here we go again. All right. If I had a hundred dollar bill, I'd have a hundred dollars. If I had two fifties, I'd have a hundred dollars. If I had 10 twenties, I'd have $200. If I had two tens, I'd have $20. If I had three fives, I'd have $15. If I had 11 ones, I'd have $446. I am missing something. That's why I do this to find out what I did wrong. Let me find out what I did wrong here. $150 in groceries, 10 in pets, 20 in shopping, 20 in household, 20 in entertainment, 20 in restaurants, 50 in miscellaneous, five in gifts and giving, 135 in gas, 20 in buffer, and 16 that adds up to 466 dollars so that is right i do have everything accounted for here i just didn't figure out what bills i wanted somewhere along the way what am i missing oh i do not know but i guess if i just get two tens i'm gonna be safe a ten and two fives i'll get a ten and two fives and that way i'll be able to break it into whatever need be all right, you guys, is that right? Now I'm gonna count that again. If I had one $100 bill, I'd have $100. If I had two 50s, I'd have $100. If I had 20s, I'd have $200. If I had three tens, I'd have $30. If I had five fives, I'd have $25. And if I had 11 ones, we come to $466, which we had $486 remaining, but we're leaving $20 in the bank, so we need $466. That is right, and we are getting one $100 bill, two 50s, 10 20s, three tens, five fives, and 11 ones. All right, I am gonna head to work and at some point today, I will hit the bank, grab that cash, and then I will be back to cash stuff with you guys later today. I will see you then. Hi there, I am back. It is Friday night. I went to the bank. I got my numbers straight. I'm ready to do the cash stuffing with you guys. Let's pull this out. Make sure we got the right amount of money. It is supposed to be four hundred and sixty six dollars all right put that back let me grab this and here we go all right so it looks like oh, we should have 11 one dollar bills one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
Then five five dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five. Three ten dollar bills. Ten twenty dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Two fifties and one one hundred. Alrighty, we got $466 ready to cash stuff into the wallet and the other categories. This should go pretty quick. Let me pull out my wallet again. Groceries get $150. 100 and a 50 right there in the groceries. Pets is getting a 10. And it looks like every single category in my wallet's getting something this time. Shopping's getting a 20. Household, another 20. Entertainment, did it get a 20? It did. That restaurants got a 20. I'm just doling out the 20s this time. Whenever I have a good paycheck, I like to overstuff some of these categories. Miscellaneous got a 50. And Gifts and Giving got a 5. Alrighty. Perfect. The wallet is all stuffed and I just love how quick that goes. I know I say it every time, but I really do. It is so easy to cash stuff a cash stuffing wallet. Yes, $135. We got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 130, and 35. Stick that in there. And then we've got Buffer got 20 and there's nothing in here right now. So let me pull this out and I'm just going to put 20. Okay. Oh, and I did end up when I was missing that $20 bill, I broke it into different denominations just in case it wasn't a 20, but it looks like it was a 20, but that's fine. My Buffer can be... $20, a 10, and two fives. It's probably better that way. That way I can break it up in case I do need to take some money out of the buffer. All right, taxes, health, and education all got money last time. That's done. So what is next? Maintenance and emergency stay in the bank. $16 goes into the box for the savings challenges. Let me grab that. Here we go. $16 is what this should be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 5 is 16. There we go. Now, not today because I don't know how much is in here, but I like it to be a lot of money. But we will do another video sometime soon as soon as we get this a little more whole. And is that all we're doing today? Oh, we do need to fill out those numbers. So I did pull those. Let me grab that. There we go. All right. Month ahead is sitting at $1,667 right now. And that emergency fund is 281. Both of those are awesome because my rent and electricity are already paid for this month. And I'm on into all of the smaller bills. I'm doing great. Plus it's a five paycheck month, you guys. This is a really awesome month, my birthday month. I love October. I am so happy to get into this, but I do need to get to bed and I will be back again soon. I hope you are too. Bye-bye now.